Let's talk about Ant-Man and the Wasp. Probably don't need to say this, but spoilers ahead, so click that like button and come back later. So after a very eventful movie like Avengers Infinity War, I needed a little break with something nice and fun like Ant-Man and the Wasp. I love how this movie is basically Marvel Studios' Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Like seriously, think about it. Wu is the principal, Hope is Jenny, and Scott is Ferris. My favorite character of the film has to be Luis again. He was the same lovable goofball from the first Ant-Man movie and I was glad to see him again. I liked how they kept things from the first Ant-Man movie and brought it back for the sequel too. Like how simple the household things can be turned into giant weapons like that Hello Kitty Fez dispenser. Also, you gotta love how weirdly beautiful the Quantum Realm is. I love how it's made up with all these colors and the landscape is always moving. I personally found Ghost's character to be honestly a little bit boring. I felt sympathy for her and everything, but I just didn't really get a good impression of her. She just seems like a really forgettable Marvel villain to me like Whiplash from Iron Man 2. Hopefully we'll see more of her again in the future in like maybe Ant-Man 3 or a Thunderbolts film. Also, I did like the effect that they used for her phasing. It was really cool to see all her past and future movements while she was phasing like that. It reminds me a lot of a TikTok filter to be honest. My favorite moment of the film has to be that car chase scene. It was just a really fun chase scene. I really liked how they were using Hot Wheels cars, normal cars, and shrinking down while uh, turning back their normal size while fighting their opponents. That scene was just really fun for me. I give this movie a 7 out of 10, giving it a C. Anyway, that's the review. Go down to those comments and tell me what you thought. And click that like and subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest content. See ya!